Welcome to Apex Infection Prevention and You podcast. Apex Infection Prevention and You campaign educates healthcare providers and consumers about the importance of infection prevention. Learn more by visiting www.apic.org slash infection prevention and you. Today, we're speaking with Vicki Allen, member of Apex Communications Committee. We'll be talking about how healthcare professionals and consumers can break the chain of infection in long-term care settings. Also, breaking the chain of infection is a theme for this year's observance of International Infection Prevention Week, which takes place October 16th through the 22nd. Before we get started, I wanted to provide some background on long-term care facilities. Long-term care facilities provide a variety of services, both medical and personal care, to people who are unable to manage independently in the community. Long-term care facilities include nursing homes, skilled nursing facilities, and assisted living facilities. And according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, more than 4 million Americans are admitted to or reside in nursing homes and skilled nursing facilities each year, and nearly 1 million reside in assisted living facilities. Welcome to the show, Vicki. Thanks for having me, Janine. What are some infection prevention challenges in long-term care settings, and how are they different than those in acute care or hospital settings? Well, the primary concern in a long-term care setting is that this is a patient's home. They're actually not even patients, they're residents. This is where they live. So we have to remember the environment is very important. We've got lots of people coming in and out. Um, Sometimes these patients have chronic diseases. They may have chronic device uses. Instead of having a Foley catheter that may be in just for a surgical procedure, they may have to have a Foley catheter in that's on all the time. And then the other thing is these patients are not as active, so it increases their risk factors as well. Because it's their home, what can residents and then their care providers in those long-term care facilities, what can they do to help break the chain of infection? Well, there's lots of different things. In the winter season, we can be more aware of respiratory etiquette. We can make sure that we have our flu vaccines, that me as a a healthcare provider or my family member or the resident themselves, we all have our flu vaccine so that we're protecting each other. Um, We can um, provide activities for the for the resident so that they're moving around to help decrease their risk of pneumonias and other respiratory illness. We can make sure that we wash our hands, that we cover our cough, and that we clean the environment. And if we have residents that are next to each other that maybe have infections, then we can just be aware of the importance of the environmental transmission. And so we're protecting both residents. That's great information, Vicki. Thank you so much for being here today. To learn more about Infection Prevention in You and International Infection Prevention Week, visit www.apic.org slash infection prevention in you. Thanks again.